What is going on everybody? Phoenix Gaming here. Thank you for stopping by and today we are going to be going over the Wraith League for Season 3 that was just released on Tuesday. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the whole point of the reason why I'm making this video is not necessarily for uh, the missions and their time limits. This is mostly for the last two um activities the hyenas dazed and the hyena elite killed and this will go over how to effectively and efficiently accomplish those two particular activities because you can really knock those out uh two birds one stone type uh of style so so let's just go quickly over the missions um actually we'll go over the uh rewards that you'll get and then we'll go over the missions and then we'll go into the main reason for this video so for the rewards the first thing you'll get is your wraith patch and then you'll get your standard caches, crafting, weapon crafting, shade supplies, material caches, your named item, uh, another shade supply, recalibration, your exotic cache at level 9, and then your uh, final backpack trophy, the opera mask at level 10. For the missions, we have the Grand Washington Hotel. Complete that within the 12 minute time limit. Very easy to do, especially on hard. Jefferson Trade Center, again, 12 minutes. Bank headquarters completed at 14 minutes, and then your challenging district unit arena, 25 minutes. Again, these are all very easy to accomplish. You can get them done within, you know, a span of like an hour at most if you're like really quick and you have a very optimized build. So it's really nothing too difficult, nothing too hard to do. But the ones that I wanted to go over were the hyenas dazed and the hyena elites killed. Now, with this, the best way for you to do this is by going into your map and then using this control point here, control point demolition site, which is right next to the uh, White House, is by going here and then calling uh, for the uh, ally backup. And then once you call for the ally backup, what you're going to want to do is... Uh, You'll head over, you'll see from the gameplay footage, head over to the manhole behind the statue, and then the hyenas are just going to come out of that manhole. So now what you can do here is um, just post up, and then they'll filter out about three at a time, and then you're going to also get some of the hyenas that do have the ability to daze uh, the other hyena members around you. So you can actually probably proc maybe three to four hyenas at a time, which will help get up your... Um, hyenas dazed to you know those numbers as you just saw right here you know I dazed everyone that was coming out of the manhole it's about you know again three to four of them and then just all you're gonna want to do is once they pop out of this manhole focus everything on the uh, on the named NPC don't worry about all the others don't worry about anyone else just focus on the named NPC because what you're gonna want to do is start Tr uh, trying to fast travel back to the safe house so when you're able to actually fast travel back to the safe house what you're going to do is it's going to reset the second half of the um fight with the control boy and you can constantly keep doing this it's you know it's not exploiting it's not you know being unfair this is just how the game mechanic currently is that they've never fixed for the game and this is your this is a way of actually being able to farm the control point without actually having to reset all the control points in the vicinity. You could just kill the named NPC, fast travel back to the safe house, come back, and then, you know, get your loot, farm this specific control point. And this will allow you to, you know, uh, knock off the, uh, eliminate the elite hyenas and to daze the hyenas as well. This overall took me about, um, an hour or two to uh, finally complete both of them at a time. It was hard because, you know, the NPCs that do come out, it's, you know, randomly generated. So you're not always going to get uh, elite hyenas. You're going to get some purple, you're going to get some reds, and you're never always going to get a, uh, a rusher hyena that has the bag to daze them. You might get a few medical hyenas, but because of the location of their uh, med pack on the back to daze them. It's kind of tricky, especially because when they pop out, they're trying to run to a different area, try to get behind cover. Um, but overall, I mean, you will be able to uh, complete this, these two specific activities 
you know, in a matter of a couple of hours and to knock it out, get it out of the way. That way you don't have to worry about it next week. Um, again, the Wraith League does last for two weeks and it is meant for people that don't have the amount of time to complete it. So that's why it's pretty much easier for the hardcore players to complete this within the uh, set amount of time within, you know, just a couple of hours on the day of release. For myself, you know, it took me about two days to do because you know, like I said, the first four missions, uh, hard and challenging, they're nothing. It's you run in with a shield build and you'll be fine. You know, as long as you don't die, as long as, you know, everything works in your favor, you're, you're going to be great with the uh, the three hard missions and the uh, challenging mission. Um, but the, the what is very time consuming is the elite hyenas and the dazing them. Um, another viable option to do is if you have the Slayer um, special weapon that was given during the uh, special event back in December of 2019, you could definitely use that to help with the dazing, but that is a special weapon that's only at level 30. I unfortunately didn't have mine, I deleted mine by accident, but if you do have it, you could definitely use it to go around and just using the uh, Slayer talents confuse your enemies because that's what it is. It is a confused duration. It, that is how they get dazed um, So but other than that, I mean that is pretty much it. That's pretty much straightforward with the Wraith League I wanted to post the video on it. I usually don't do videos regarding the leagues because ever since that they uh, nerfed the leagues in terms of uh, making the missions easier to complete and uh, making everything else kind of obsolete in a way uh, they have it hasn't really been viable enough to make a, a video on it but i wanted to bring this out kind of give you an idea of like what to do how to do it efficiently that way you can just knock it out of the park and not have to worry about it that way you can go on to bigger and better things that is if you want to do the wraith league you know the wraith leagues the leagues in general are not supposed to be something that you have to do they're just something kind of like their extra resources backpack trophies and patches Again, it's not going to make you any better, but you know, it is something to do. It is something fun to do if you enjoy doing that. Uh, I myself just do it just because, um, and also to try and find efficient ways to complete it, you know, as fast as possible. But other than that, guys, that is all for the video. I really hope you found this video informative. Take a moment, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. If you found this video and you're new to the channel, definitely, you know, hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, you know, did this method work for you? And then would you like to see more uh, videos regarding the leagues in general about how to complete them in a faster, uh, efficient manner rather than just, you know, going out throughout the whole two weeks? Again, for all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. I hope it was informative, and if it was, definitely like and share it uh, with uh, anybody else that you would think would enjoy the video. Again, guys, uh, I hope that you are staying safe, and I wish you all a great week, and I will catch you around in the next video. Take care.